party time, yeah, it's party time. Grab a palette and a brush and just flow with your mind. We gon' bring this look together one swatch at a time, one swatch at a time, yeah, it's party time. Hey y'all, welcome to episode three of Super <laughs> Today's look we're doing a half pumpkin face and the other side simple glam. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do end up enjoying this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll be notified next time that I put up a brand new video. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Okay, guys, um, let's get started on this Halloween pumpkin look. First thing I'm gonna do is block out one of my brows. I already brushed it up. Now I'm going to take a glue stick and want to work it in my brows. Okay, so once I have glue on my eyebrow, I'm going to go ahead and set it with some powder. This is the Ciate London powder. Now while this eye is baking, I'm going to go ahead and go over to this other eyebrow. Brushing these eyebrow hairs up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this eyebrow. And I'm filling in this eyebrow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Ebony. Okay, so now since this eyebrow is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this side of the face. So I'm going to prime my face with the No Porbum Primer. Now that my face is primed, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Fenty Foundation. This is in the shade 390. And I'm just going to put it on this side of my face. Now that the foundation is on this side of the face, I'm gonna go ahead and use some concealer. This is my Jeffree Star Concealer in the shade C16. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with my Airspun Powder. And now I'm going to place some powder underneath my eyes because I am now going to get into the eyeshadow and I don't want any fallout. Okay, I'm going to take my Hank and Henry Meg brush. It's a blending brush, and I'm going to take take my Pretty Vulgar palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Hide and Seek. And I'm just blending this shade above the crease. Now I'm taking my Morphe M434 brush, and I'm going into the shade All Nighter. And I'm taking this on the outer corner and bring it bringing it in the in the crease now I'm taking the Morphe 506 brush and I'm going to blend out this black shade once you spend a good amount of time blending that out I'm going, in, I'm going into the Riviera Anastasia palette and I'm taking the shade Mediterranean. I'm going to place that on the lid. And that shade is absolutely gorgeous. Been wanting to do that for a while. But now I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Pretty Volga palette. And I'm going to take my M434 brush and I'm going back into that black shade all nighter. And I'm going to pat that on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Obsidian eyeliner. And I'm going to make a wing. take my Pretty Vulgar palette and I'm going into the shade after midnight and I'm going to smoke that on the lower lash line. Now for the waterline, I'm going to use Diamond from the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection. And it's this pretty purple color. 
And with that, I'm using a flat brush from Luxie. And for my inner corner highlighter, I'm going to use Ofra's Highlighter Star Island. And I'm going to use the Morphe M124 brush. Okay, you guys, for the sake of spooky you no know, paint, we're going to go ahead and use the Jeffree Star Drug Lord Liquid Lipstick. And we're going to paint this side of our face white. Now that you have your white face, you're going to go ahead and take an orange color. I'm going to go ahead and use the Norvina ABH palette, volume 3, and I'm going to go into the shade A2. And I'm using a Morphe M536 brush. to take the Jeffree Star Drug Lord and treat it as if it were concealer. So we're going to take it and put it under under eye. And I'm also going to put some on the chin because this is where I normally highlight my chin. To set the under eye, I'm going to go into the James Charles palette and I'm going to take this shade. This shade is called So Good. And I'm going to take my Hank and Henry Anna brush and just pack that on the highlight area. And to highlight it even more, I'm going to go into the shade B. And I'm just going to pack that right on top of it, just to make it even brighter. Now I'm taking my Pretty Vulgar palette, and I'm taking the shade After Midnight, and I'm going to contour this side of the face. take my liner my liquid liner and I'm gonna make lines down the face and down the neck on this part I'm going to leave blank for right now and I'm gonna go ahead and start the eyeshadow process so I'm taking a e35 brush and I'm going to shape out my eyeshadow and go into all nighter in my pretty vulgar palette. I'm going for a pointy shape. Okay, after I have the shape that I want on this eye, I'm going to take my Anastasia brush and I'm taking the fluffy part, the blending part, and I'm going into all nighter which is a black and I'm going to smoke that in the crease and I'm going to take this side of the Anastasia brush going back in the all nighter and I'm going to fill in the triangle at the top I'm also going to fill out the bottom. Now I'm taking the black shade and I'm putting it on the outer corner of this eye. And now for this eye, I'm going back into the Riviera Anastasia palette and I'm taking the shade Inheritance. For the inner corner, I'm going with the shade Sales in the Riviera palette, which is his wife, and I'm taking that, that on an M124 brush. For the waterline, I'm taking my NYX pencil in the shade Orange County. Since the 
the shadow is done over here, I'm going to go ahead and finish the lines. Now I want to make way for the mouth. I'm going to go ahead and make some triangular shapes for the mouth. Try to wipe all the excess off your mouth, any paint or or liquid lipstick on your mouth. Go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, now that my lips are cleaned off, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Uninvited Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to put it on my lips first. Once you have it on your lips, you can go ahead and fill in the pumpkin lips. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and go into some detail work. This part of the video, I won't be doing any talking. I'm just going to be in my zone, just putting on the little touches of makeup that's, that's needed for this look. I hope you guys enjoy watching me do the details of this look. Hey guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed me creating this look today it is very cute it's very fun to do i did something different by covering up my eyebrow if you guys want something fun and really creative for halloween this would be it having half of half glam face and half pumpkin face it's just it is something fun and then it was something simple you all can do this includes episode three of Spooky <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed me creating this look today. If you guys did like me creating this look, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll be notified the next time that I put up a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.